Good morning. Time to move a Bridgeport. I have a plan. I have most of a plan. Here it goes. Yeah, I think that'll do. All right, let me show you what we got. The plan. I got ramps. Really heavy ramps. Oh. Some smaller boards. These two eight inch wide hard maple planks that are six feet long. Those will be important. Some galvanized pipe and oh, a box of goodies. And various toe straps, tie downs, ropes, and the more power puller because I will definitely need more power. Also, a bunch of shims and tarps and blankets as well if I need it. All right, I'm gonna go get some tools. Well, that's a good sign. And there it is. Okay, let's see. Good, that means I can get a pry bar underneath. That will be great. Okay, that looks good. I might have to take these off for transport. Yeah, I'm sure I'm gonna take those off. That, a bunch of collets, fantastic. Solid state phase converter. Fascinating. I'm gonna have to figure out just what this is. Okay. Looks like there's some jaws on here. All right, fantastic. Very cool. Oh yeah, look at that. Power feed. And if it sounds like I don't know what I'm talking about, it's because I'm a woodworker and this is a new endeavor for me. But uh, very cool. Oh, it looks good. Well, it looks like I have my work cut out for me. So I'm going to get moving. Um, yeah, wish me luck. Now that the hard maple planks are in position, I mark the layout of the four leveling feet holes on the planks. Next, holes are drilled through the planks, 
and then threaded with a tap. I jam two nuts together and then use a driver to insert the rod through the full thickness of the wood. The threaded rod that I'm using is 5 16 inch and about 8 inches long. A washer and nut are then placed and tightened. And then a second jam nut is used to ensure that the assembly doesn't loosen in transport. In this next clip, you can see my brain start to re-familiarize itself with physics. Past experiences that have to do with center of mass and leverage start to resurface. Soon I find a balance between brute force and leverage. To winch this 2200 plus pound machine up the ramp, I'm using something called a more power puller. It has a three ton capacity, which you can double with a snatch block. Using a crowbar and the puller, I'm able to coax it up the ramps. I did discover that one of my bolts went a little too far through the plank and I had to back that out in order to get over the edge of the trailer. Okay, I gotta take a break. I'm gonna clean up a few things and then we'll get it situated. But holy cow. Yeah, I'll be dang, it worked. Um, you might saw the, the bolts I went through, the wood went just a little deep on two of them. I backed them out a little bit, make it easier to move on the trailer. Um, kind of got caught in some spots, check it out. So you can see right there. And uh, yeah, kind of got hooked. But uh, nothing, a little pry bar, couldn't fix. Speaking of pry bar, let's see, that one's okay. This one took a little damage. Um, See, there's a little bit of a bend there by that red spot. Not too bad. Oh, now I can see it right there. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway. So, yeah. Bear break time.
clearance. We're ready to go. Stuff is tightened down. I got a strap on top here in case I have to brake hard. The bottom, we're bolted in uh, good and tight so that's not going to skid around. Um, just some extra strapping too down here. Everything is tightened down so hopefully nothing wiggles or moves. Uh, yeah, just got to uh, put a tarp on and drive for six hours. And we'll continue this when I get back to Michigan. It's not supposed to rain today, but I'm going to cover up the top of the bridge board anyway. I'm using plenty of tie-down straps and bungee cords. If the tarp waves around in the wind, it will shred and be destroyed. I'm not worried about the bridge board taking damage from the tarp flapping around, but I would like to keep this tarp around for another use after the 300 mile trip. Got home last night around 11.30 my time. <laughs> Not enough time to unload, so now it's the next day. Part of my delay was because my wife wanted a dog kennel that she found on Marketplace for a great price, I'm told, so I had to pick that up. And, um, well, this is my fault. I found some blue barrels that I wanted for uh, 10 bucks a piece. I got six of those. Also had to stop and get some maple syruping supplies. So all that set me back quite a bit and uh, had to drive an extra two and a half hours at dark that I wasn't really looking forward to, but made it. In my shop, I have a room that I have called the finishing room. I usually apply finishes, do glue ups. It's kind of also like a big junk drawer. I spent most of the day clearing that out. When evening rolled around and my neighbor was finished with his work day, he came over to help. Thankfully, my neighbor is one of unusual qualities. For one, he has a tractor and he keeps helping me when I need heavy things moved. Anyway, again, everything went to plan. It slid off the trailer just fine, we jockeyed it around and more or less just used the tractor to push stuff really didn't have to lift with the tractor which is good because my ground is very not level and while the machine is heavy and doesn't really like to tip over it still has a lot of mass up high well that actually went better than i thought the uh, maple skis did a fantastic job it is now safe and sound. It's 300 miles from where it started. It is in the heated floor, humidity controlled shop. It will never see a speck of rust for the rest of its life while it's here. Okay. Just a little update. Got from the garage door to here and it's been tough. I can see the table's gonna have to go up and down and left and right and all that to get through that doorway. I already had to, to get around the table saw here. Also, um, I probably should have removed that strip on the ground. That was really spongy and really kind of a pain to get over. So yeah, onward to the doorway. And now, the doorway. It's a game of like inches or half inches. So I've maneuvered it this far. And now I'm cranking the table. And it's kind of hard to get through. Ah, oh, ah, oh, made it. Okay, there we go. So. Now I gotta move the table so I can slide through the doorway. So you can kind of see the base would fit through fine. It's the table. So the only way to make it is to go at a 45, crank the table one way, crank it the other. So that is where I'm at. And you can see it's still, am I gonna make it? Yep, just cleared that. And there we go. And now, 
We need to get that clear. I think that will do. Okay, we'll go a little further. Okay, and now I need to come straight back. Well, other than about a half hour of mist during a six hour drive, everything went exactly to plan. Super happy with, uh, well, with everything <laughs> and thankful to be done. I do not want to move this thing ever again. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, thanks for checking out the video. Uh, if you learned something awesome and, uh, till next time.